If it's as good as his word, it looks like we're getting it on. And Frank and Bob have been telling me it might be the first quarter of next year, end of February, early March. I'm willing. Usyk looks like he's willing. Bob, Frank, them, their peoples are willing. So let's get it on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Oops. The morning after. Um, look, Tyson and Gypsy King Fury. Um, if he does what he's setting out to do, um, he's definitely going to be an all-time great. He's on his on the road of being an extremely high all-time great um, heavyweight champion. Um, first, I want to say this. First, um, you know, much love to all of you guys who showed up to live stream commentary for both fights, okay, for both cars, Tyson Gypsy Fury and Estrada versus uh, Roman Gonzalez. Now, wait, hold on. With me saying that Tyson Gypsy King Fury is going to be an all-time great. With me saying that, I'm not saying it's based on him be beating Derek Chisora, but I'll explain in a minute. The first thing that we have to cover, that we have to talk about, is what I see as the fixed fight between Dubois and Lorena. That's right. I called it fixed. I called it fixed. Um, many of you uh, in the war room, I wasn't by myself. There was thousands of you in the war room watching the fight with me, saying the same thing real time as the fight was going on. We felt cheated. And was Lorena cheated? Cheated? Was he cheated too? No, he wasn't cheated. Um, he obviously uh, wanted that outcome. Dubois, was he cheated? Maybe a little bit, but not really. Um, what he needed to be exposed was exposed last night. Dribbled off the canvas three times in the first round. What trainers needed to know about him at this moment of his career, what Dubois needed to know, they found out, but they got away with one. As for the fans, though, who was really cheated, it was us, okay? Um, cheated of authenticity, okay? Um, that's all we want is authenticity, um, and we were very um, disappointed. At the end of the day, though, at the end of the day, Who's all involved? Everything else is speculation. And this is not a speculation channel. All right. Um, but I did want to cover that. As far as Roman Gonzalez versus Estrada, congratulations to both of them. And thank you both uh, for giving us three uh, great fights. I do think Roman Gonzalez deserved the nod, but the judges didn't. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me get my Grinch. Mr. Grinch. Okay, Tyson Gypsy King Fury demonstrating his greatness last night. The fight between him and Derek Chisora, I, I was losing my mind. I thought Derek Chisora could have gotten extremely hurt. Um, and I'm happy um, they decided to stop the fight. The ref did. Uh, his corner, I don't know what they were thinking. Tyson Gypsy King Fury, though, his greatness wasn't displayed really by his performance against Derek Chisora. No. Um, Usyk may have had it right. It was a glorified sparring session. Um, but I think that fight with Derek Chisora was necessary. Um, he wanted the fight with AJ. The AJ uh, fight didn't happen. But what needed to happen more than anything was Tyson Fury needed a fight now. And he needed a fight so he can be... Um, the best Tyson Fury he can be right now against o Alexander Usyk for undisputed. I think that's something the fans want. I think that's something the haters want. Um, even the haters um, obviously should ultimately want um, that fight between Usyk and Tyson Gypsy King Fury. What makes him great last night was his energy, it, his intentions. That's what I measured him by. When I got down on Tyson Gypsy King Fury and I say he's not an all-time great, sure he's not all-time great, not right now, but especially then with his energy. Tyson Fury, forget what he said, just how he said it. He's, I'm done, that's it, I'm great. I would have beaten everybody, I would have beaten everybody and because you, because I think I would have beaten everybody, I must convince you that I would have beaten everybody and due to that, I'm an all-time great, which for me, that doesn't fly. Um, being an all-time great means being an all-time great and doing great things. Not what you would have done and what we think you would have done. So you're all-time great. No. His energy 
last night as far as I won't stop fighting. Um, him calling out Usyk, Usyk stepping up to the ring, crazy ass Usyk, actually literally licking his chops. You guys see that? And while calling out Usyk, here comes Joe Joyce. Like I said in my reaction, I've never seen that before. Tyson Fury called it a Royal Rumble. Let's have a Royal Rumble. No, it's 2v1. That's different. If you can try to imagine Muhammad Ali yelling at Sphinx, and here comes Foreman. And now Muhammad Ali is staring down Sphinx and Foreman as both of them are yelling at him. It, it would make Muhammad Ali, he was al he's already the GOAT. It would make that spectacle would be incredible to look at. And that's what we saw. We saw Tyson Fury looking at Alexander Usyk, unified champion. Many people see him as an all-time great right now. And Joe Joyce, a dangerous heavyweight, a heavyweight that many people have been avoiding for years for good reason. Good steady jab, good power. Funny thing is, and a crazy chin, he just keeps going and crazy stamina. And the funny thing is, Usyk beat him in semi-pro, right, in the amateurs. And they are next to each other. And they were actually, you know, winding the fist up threatening Tyson Fury together. Tyson Fury being 6'9", 270 pounds, made him look definitely like the Gypsy King and the king of the heavyweight division. With that said, like I said, that was a great moment for boxing. And in the post-fight uh, press conference, when talking to Tyson Fury, he said, I, didn't, I don't just want to talk about it. I want to do it. I want to show you guys. I'm going to beat Usyk. I, I can't just think. I don't just want to talk. I want to prove it. So... Let's get that one on. He gave him his credit, said that that guy is a great fighter coming from undisputed at Cruiserweight and going up and being unified and then defending it against AJ. Magnificent. Something Tyson Gy Gypsy King Fury hasn't done. Usyk has that on his resume. Fury wanted AJ, never got him, okay? I'm not sure if he ever will. But with that said, what Tyson Fury is talking about doing it's what greats do. And I want to talk to all you Tyson Gypsy King Fury fans who didn't understand what I was saying. A lot of you boxing fans who don't understand what I'm saying. You haven't seen it. You must have never seen greatness. Not in boxing. In boxing, the great ones do great things. And they clear people out no matter how difficult they look. They don't fight this. They don't fight fighter A and fighter B is as difficult, but I fought fighter A, so you got to give me credit for fighter B. They don't do that. Like I said, they fight the best and the rest. Muhammad Ali fought A, A, B, C, D, all the way through Z. Everybody. Win, lose, or draw. Tyson Gypsy King Fury has that opportunity now, and he has that energy right now. I'm going to fight Usyk. Fight Joe Joyce. Keep going. Dubois, That fight him if you want. But I'm saying Jared Anderson, Frank Sanchez, the rest of them, right? Continue on. Zhang, the rest of them. Fury made me very happy last night. And I can future-proof this. Win, lose, or draw, well, he has to become undisputed. You have that opportunity to fight Usyk. He has to fight him. And in order to be a great, he has to beat him. He has to be undisputed. Um, if he does that, and continue on, continues on, and defend his reign. He said that he's going to drop the IBF. That's an emotional thing he got going on. Him not liking the, the IBF or what happened when he was stripped. But if he continue, continues on, fight the likes of Joe Joyce and continues on and defends his titles and beat all those guys and show that he's really the king. He said that he's going to keep fighting until he loses. That's what the great ones do. Pass the torch. Keep fighting until you're... They, they prove, it's proven to them from their opponents that he, they no longer have it, okay? I don't have it anymore. As far as a quick prediction between Tyson Fury and Usyk, it's a difficult fight. I said yesterday that Tyson Fury looks good. He looks better against these fighters with no legs. Wilder doesn't have legs. Great feet. Um, Derek Chisora? <laughs> um, Dillian White? Mm -mm. If he beats Usyk, he beat a true heavyweight, true heavyweight, 220 plus pounds with great legs and angles and footwork. 
it's not just about beating the Giants, right? People have this weird concept now that being great makes means you're just big and bulky. I don't know what's wrong with these people now. But being great is beating all styles. If he can beat an Usyk and a Joe Joyce, an Usyk and a Deontay the Browns Bumble Wilder, right? That's great. You covering the spectrum of styles. Showbiz for adult. Let me know how you all feel in the comments below. Um, getting ready to go to church, go Christmas shopping, do all those things. Um, Monday, I'm going to have off. Um, but, but we'll be ready. Be back to discuss this even further on Taco Tuesday. I'm out.